Okay, so the pulleys are in the top of the door. This is the door here. That thing goes in the door. And you get a hold of the pulleys. So for this one, for hand behind back, what you're going to do is sort of walk between the pulleys. And you want to sort of put this around here so it's, it looks behind your back like this. You don't want it on the outside of your hand like that. So you're starting off here and you're walking in between the pulleys. Then you sort of let your arm flip around like this. And then stand with your opposite shoulder to the wall or the door. And then when you pull down, it's going to pull your hand across your body like this. I'm turning just so you can sort of see. But you'd be like this. So the first thing it's going to do is it's going to pull like this. And that's for a stiff shoulder. That's how it's kind of going to look. As you get better, the arm's going to bend like this. All right? And then, uh, okay, good. For the other ones, you're going to be sitting down. And then you're going to sort of start off like this. So my right hand's the affected shoulder. I'm going to straighten my elbow, which will bring this arm up in the air. Then I'm going to use that arm to sort of pull down. And then it's going to, I'm going to sort of go to the point where I touch the pain usually. And usually what I do is sort of go up and down 30 times. And then I'd hold it up in the air for 30. Pull too hard and it hurts too much, it'll actually make it stiffer. So that's for flexion. And then for the one by your side, for the hand behind back, the abduction, I keep my hand on the wall, my arm on the wall, and I'm going to sort of pull up to the side. And the arm, because it's got a stiff shoulder, it's going to want to drift out here. Which is okay if it does it a little bit, but try and keep it as parallel to the wall as you can. And uh, then you're sort of going to go like this. Alright, same thing, 30 up and down times 30.